We just heard what Davis's legal team is doing, so let's try to get some deeper understanding. And to put it all in perspective, we have CNN legal analyst and criminal defense attorney Philip Holloway. Morning, Philip. Good Morning. to see you. Thanks. All right. So um, let me ask you first about this. Uh, explain what does remove her office's authority from the licenses mean? It's sort of very legalese there, but it's actually asking for something specific. Well, if you would put a very blunt and fine point on this, Marty. What you have to understand is that when you're an elected official and you're taking some action in your official capacity, you're not acting as an individual person, you're acting as the government. And she happens to be the person who occupies that office at this current moment. So her name at the bottom of the license means nothing more than the person who has applied for the license meets the legal requirements. And the Supreme Court has told us that same-sex marriages uh, are legal. They have to be constitutionally recognized. Whether you like it or not, the Supreme Court tells us what the Constitution means, and if you don't like that, so be it. But if you're the government, you have to follow the law. She seems to just want to say, well, look, I want to take my name totally out of this. Um, yet, she is the clerk, she is the documenter, as you will, of these licenses. Uh, can, she, can she do that? Can she just say, no, you go ahead without me? The entire statutory scheme involving marriage in the state of Kentucky, Marty, and probably across the entire United States is going to have to be reworked in, in light of the new Supreme Court ruling. So I don't think simply just taking her name off the bottom means a lot because, as I said, she is acting in her official capacity when she's at work. She's not acting as an individual person. She's acting in her official capacity i.e. the government. So the government is not allowed to take a position on religious matters. So in her official capacity, she has no choice but to issue the licenses. And say she doesn't, say that she shows up tomorrow or whenever she goes back to work and she says, no, I'm not doing it. I am abstaining from allowing these licenses. Uh, what happens? Is she automatically in contempt? Are we back and yeah. starting this all over again? Yeah, I think she has a couple of, well, really three choices. Number one, she can quit her job, if it means that much to Which her. Which she said she's not going to do. Okay. Then she can sit in her office and let her deputy clerks continue to issue the licenses, or if she interferes with them, she's going to go to jail. We've already seen that the judge is very willing to do that, and I, I, I guarantee you they're watching this very closely. And if she interferes in any way or refuses to issue those licenses, she's going back to jail. Uh, what about forcing her? To resign can that be done that's a bigger question i think that it would involve some type of interference from the government or the governor and maybe the legislature yeah, some type of impeachment, impeachment process, correct yes like that. because if an elected official fails to do their job they fail to carry out the duties of their offices they are required to do by law then they can be removed and i think that's probably what would happen mm -hmm. but it isn't so simple as somebody walking in there and saying miss davis i'm sorry you're fired well, what it is, it is as simple as it, in the interim time, the federal judge saying, Ms. Davis, until you get fired, you're going to jail. Mm -hmm. Philip Holloway, as always, yeah. we really appreciate your legal insights. Thanks very much. Thanks to be.